Hi, and welcome to Under the Tree with Ominator. I'm just kidding, that's stupid. Okay, let's get to the point. How will bump the cable there? The fuck. Okay. I got myself a little script here, so I can read off of that, and you guys will never know. My cat's over there. Let's hope he comes over here. So you cuddle a little bit. Okay, uh, let's get to the point. Okay. Lately, I've been a little bit busy. I've had some exams. I had an exam today. Uh, scored a B. Yeah. I have another exam, the 24th. Also, my cat's messing around. He's gonna make the jump. Yeah, nice jump. Okay. So, uh, I had those exams. And I said I have another one. Uh, so I've been a little bit busy lately, but after that, it's gonna be holiday, and I'm gonna have a lot of time on my hands. Beyond that, I've, uh, attained myself a little uh, summer job. Uh, where I work two days a week, and uh, I'm gonna scrape some funds together, but we'll get to that later. Um, first of all, uh, the thing I want to say, real fast, is uh, I got 500 subscribers. 500 people are subscribed to this channel. 500 people are like, hey, that Ominator guy, he makes good videos, he makes good content. I want to see the next stuff he puts out. That's pretty incredible. I don't like to brag or anything like that. I just want to acknowledge that and acknowledge you guys because I couldn't do it without you. Well, I could, but I mean, no one would watch, so I, I probably wouldn't do it, make the videos and all. Uh, so I appreciate you guys' support, obviously, um, and uh, keep on watching. Perhaps you've seen my first amp demo of the Orange Dual Terror. Uh, if you haven't, there's a, a link in the description and a little annotation somewhere on the, up there or something. Uh, and uh, perhaps you've also been waiting for the next one, and it's been long, a long time in the works, I guess. I actually recorded the footage a long time ago, not all of it, almost all of the footage, uh, and all the DIs and all that of the second amp that I'm going to test. Basically, the story is Calvin, who borrowed me, he's a dual terror, plays in a band who recorded at my home studio, um, and there's a second guitarist in that band. And I'm borrowing, well, I borrowed his uh, guitar amplifier as well, and that's the demo that you're going to see next. I won't spoil what it is, it's very uh, unique, it's very old, uh, and uh, wind. It's very cool, so look forward to that, that's going to come out soon. Uh, uh, and the reason why it hasn't come out yet uh, is mostly because uh, I haven't had the time, and second of all, uh, well, those times where I did have the time, I didn't feel like it because I tried editing it in Adobe Premiere. And I'm going to finish editing, editing it in Adobe Premiere just to try something different. Uh, but I've kind of come to the realization that I still prefer Sony Vegas over Premiere. Uh, so I'm going to finish that video in Premiere and then I'm going to go back to Sony Vegas. It's pretty simple, just like that. Now, um, it's pretty handy, this little notebook right here. Yeah. Anyway, the second episode of Darkness the Hecty Hog, or Darkness the Hedgehog, if you will, um, is going to come out soon as well. Apparently, there was actually some, uh, some some request for this, and that's the only reason why I'm continuing that. Because uh, honestly, it was kind of cringy in a good way, I guess, the first one, and uh, it's going to continue to be exactly in that way, I suppose. Um, but it's fun. It's fun making it. And uh, <laughs> I had a good time making the first one, so I'll get around to making the second one and put that out, the, the second one, as if there's only two. I mean, I'm going to finish the story. Uh, the next thing on the list says, uh, it says, next PC build, comma, two-part video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Back to that job I uh, attained uh, during the summer here. I'm going to earn enough funds to build a new PC, and I want to let you guys in on that uh, because, well... Who doesn't like fucking around with cool hardware? So the idea is, I'm gonna list off some hardware in a second, um, but the idea is I'm gonna build a, a silent, sleek, good-looking performance PC. Um, I'm gonna transfer over a couple parts from my old PC, and I'm thinking of making a two-part video where in the first part I build the PC, obviously, and in the second part we benchmark it and overclock it and you know take a look at the finished build uh, when it's all ready to go. Uh, and I think that's going to be great. That's going to be, hopefully, in a couple of months uh, when I have attained the funds to buy the hardware. And speaking of the hardware, let's get to it. I'm going to lift the power supply of my old PC, uh, or my current one, I, sh I should say, uh, which is an 850-watt uh, Corsair uh, modular power supply. There's also a, a Blu-ray optical drive, 
uh, in that PC, as well as some hard drives that I'm going to lift out of it. Um, and that's pretty much what I'm going to use from my old PC. The rest is new hardware, so I'm going to buy uh, probably an R9-280X uh, VaporX edition, which is a uh, like bluish card. It's the Tri-X edition, actually. Lots of X's in that name for some reason. Uh, which it had like three fans and the VaporX design. And it's pretty cool, right? So it's it's going to be... Well, it is going to be cool. It's going to stay cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then there's a 500 gigabyte SSD, uh, which I'm going to load the operating system onto. Well, there's Reaper, Vegas... Uh, you know, Mozilla Firefox, whatever, uh, the basics, uh, and then all the rest goes on the hard drives. Uh, the processor is going to be an FX8350. If you're into hardware at all, you know exactly what that is. Uh, it's been a huge uh, success in the uh, price to performance market uh, for the several years now, actually. Um, it's an 8 core CPU at like 4 gigahertz or something like that, and I'm planning on overclocking that as well. Uh, so that's going to be great uh, for all the stuff that I do. 16 gigs of RAM, 1600 megahertz, CL9. I uh, haven't found a specific model yet. I'm just going to find a color matching kind of thing. Because the plan is uh, I'm going to go for a white, black, and blue color scheme, uh, which kind of arose from the parts that I picked to begin with. Um, the case is going to be a Define R5. Uh, I'm thinking of getting the white one with the window in it because I want to show off the cool hardware and I, want, I like that white look on, uh, you know, if, if it's a good quality case then it can look really neat and white uh, so that's what I'm thinking and with that window it's going to be even cooler with the black and blue stuff on the inside and everything I think that's going to be great and uh, I was thinking uh, of the benefits of getting the one without a window because it has more acoustic padding on that uh, left side panel uh, but I think it's going to be a negligible difference and I'd rather have the window in it to show off the cool stuff cool hardware and all that because I am going to do a lot of cable management as well never been too great at that but we're going to get good at it <laughs> with this next build uh, motherboard is going to be a Gigabyte GA 990FXA UD3 the reason why is with the 990FX chipset and the um, uh, the big uh, power rails or whatever the fuck they're called, the uh, 8 plus 2 or whatever stuff, is going to be uh, great for overclocking. Uh, and beyond that, this particular motherboard has a Firewire port uh, powered by a VIA chipset that's compatible uh, and works well, according to Focusrite, with uh, my Focusrite Sapphire Pro 24 DSP. Uh, and without that Firewire port, I wouldn't have to, you know, I couldn't have my studio up and running, which is kind of essential. So I need that Firewire port. And lastly, I'm going to buy a, a, a CPU cooler aftermarket. Thinking, uh, actually, I'm pretty fucking sure I'm going to get the Be Quiet Dark Rock 3 because it looks fucking fantastic. It's super silent and it cools quite well. Uh, and it's not the most expensive cooler on the market either. Uh, so that's that's all there is to that. It's going to be great in the next coming months, I hope. Once I finish my uh, my last exam, uh, this year anyway, it's gonna be tough. Uh, <coughs> also, I <coughs> caught a bit of a throat infection lately. <coughs> but it's gotten a fuck of a lot better. Like, you wouldn't, have, wouldn't wanna see me like three or four days ago. That was horrible. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm done, I'm done. I'm gonna go inside and edit this video now. All right, okay, thank you for watching. Stay subscribed. Like this video or not, I don't really care to be honest. Nobody likes videos on YouTube anymore. <laughs> yeah, not gonna need this anymore either. So, I'll see you and uh, have a fun time.